new year so what's wrong with this picture I have a blank work table so we need a new project so the first project of the new year and my mom picked this one out of my stash I gave her a choice and she wanted to, wanted to see this one get built is the Limburg Robert E. Lee Steamboat and I can't even fit the whole thing in camera so what we got here is one of the Limburg kits Limburgs are hit and miss sometimes they're decent sometimes they're not so decent this thing's over 22 inches long it's one, one and one sixty-third scale. We're gonna build this right out of the box. So let's see what we got first, shall we? Oof. We have our instructions. Draw pretty straightforward. not too bad we're gonna have some rigging to do uh, the paint on this is gonna be really simple the ship is all white except for some of the masts and the stacks so what I'm gonna do is we'll start off with a full coat of gray primer followed up by a full coat of white everything's gonna get painted on the trees and then we'll paint the individual masts and stuff on the trees and then do touch-ups later so what do we got here first bag uh, looks like we got our stacks which will end up being black we got Paddle wheel frame, so they're about to come off the tree. And boiler pipes, boiler plate, some lifeboats, the micro micro stacks that are going. These are the steam release stacks, and then the stack toppers. So that's good. Oh, and all of those <laughs> just came off of the tree. Well, that was easy enough. We'll put those right back into the bag here. There you go. Uh, next up. Um, looks like we got some micro masts, wall, actually that looks like the uh, deck house, oh, yeah, looks like we got lamps, yeah, detail's pretty nice. Ooh, nice bell, I don't know if you can see that little antlers on top and everything so that's not bad I'm not gonna pull all these out <sighs> looks like we got some wood stacks down here and some bulkheads so I'm gonna guess these are the upper decks that's probably yeah those are probably yeah, this would be forward. So that would be the upper decks right there. Nice. Raised wood detail. Uh, that could be better. But, you know, this is a Lindbergh kit. It's not going to be completely perfect. Huh. Our main deck. That's, that's pretty sizable. I think it's that. Well, our main deck is going to be, damn, six inches across. That's 
six inches across and about about 22.5 inches long give or take so yeah it's that's a that's a kit that's big we got the hull and of course paddle bolts were flat bottom so that's a complete hull with rudder section Got rubber bands here. Uh, oh, we got some chain for the anchor. Um, we got a spool of rigging, some flags, Robert E. Lee. Okay, railings. Uh, these look like uh, I don't know what these are, but. Pretty much all the same. So, oh, these are the paddles for the paddle wheel. Ooh, it's gonna be fun to assemble that little monster. It's like doing single tracks on a tank. Got two bases. That's nice. We got the paddle wheel covers, more bulkheads, and more rails. So, whew, this is a biggie. Every once in a while, it's a lot of fun to do a nice big kit. Now, like I said, I don't have like, there isn't a detail kit for this. So this one's gonna be built straight out of the box. Um, probably not gonna do a lot of weathering. It's gonna be more of like a display piece. I'm not gonna try and replicate it. This is just gonna be my first nice big build of the year. So. All in all, this looks like a very nice and detailed kit. I do not see a lot of flashing. Uh, or, well, I mean, I see a little bit. If you look right, right in this area, you know, some of these little holes are filled in with flashing. But all in all, it's not horrible. You know, every, every model kit, you know, some trimming will have to be done, but yeah, this one isn't too bad. For a Lindbergh kit, this is not bad. Like I said, Lindberghs are hit and miss sometimes. Sometimes they're really great. Sometimes they're meh. This one isn't bad. And uh, let's be honest, I kind of got it for a steal. Um, we got it at Ollie's Bargain Outlet here in the States. And I think it was $15 for the kit, so. But as you can see, um, primary color is white. There is no painting instructions, none whatsoever in the instructions. So I'm gonna go, actually there is, there's two painting instructions. One says that you should take, you should get red tape and make the water line. And one points to the stacks and says black. Those are my painting instructions. So what I plan on doing is using this box art. So we're gonna paint, the entire ship's gonna be white. Underside of the hull will be wood, wood brown. Um, the masts will be wood. The finials will be white. Um, of course, some of the masts have white tipping. Some of the masts are white with red tipping. Those are for the gangplank. So I'm gonna try and match up to this as close as I can. So, you know, here are those supports that I saw, they're wood. So there's, yeah. Oh, like red carpet on the stairs. So that's what I'm gonna aim for. I'm gonna aim for matching this coloring. So, all right. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the uh, new year and following along with some of my builds. Um, we're gonna do some fun stuff this year, why not? I mean, it's a hobby. I enjoy it. All right. Well, once again, Happy New Year. I hope you all have a great day. And uh, as always, keep on building. See you in the next video. Have, oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Of course, I'm 
I think I'm required by law to say that. I'm not sure. Anyway, Happy New Year. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.